Android logo looks a heck of a lot like Hal from 2001. Hmm, are they telling us something? Conan the New Barbarian, yes, the new Conan Barbarian, excuse me, will be rated R. Hallelujah! And, of course, Uva Bull made Blood Rain 3? Hey everyone, yes I am back, sorry for taking so long, but, you know, real life encroached in on my YouTube life, how dare it, and you're fighting it back, but sometimes you can't. Well, I'm back and I got a doozy of a movie for you now. Yes, it's Uva Bowl and he's back once again with the third movie in his Blood Rain franchise, though I think uh, franchise is really a strong word, uh, it's uh, his crap chise, maybe, his... his third movie in this crap chise. Anyway, Blood Rain, The Third Reich. We got rid of the three, but we put a subtitle with third in it. So that's how creative it is. See how creative that is? That's creative. That's about as creative as this movie gets. Okay, we got Natisse Malfe back as the uh, principal character Blood Rain, and this time they gave her some weapons she could yield, uh, wield. Excuse me. They, <laughs> they gave her some weapons she could wield. Before in Blood Rain 2, Deliverance, the one that took place in the Old West, uh, she tried to sheathe and unsheathe the sword blades from her back, and if you thought about how long her arms were, how long the blades were, you would realize uh, logistically she could never get the blades out, but somehow she did, but it was always off screen with some sound effect. Well, they actually gave her some blades she could use now, so we've totally abandoned the video game concept of the weapons altogether, and she's helping some uh, rebellion in Germany fight the Third Reich and rescue people and do good for the world as the human vampire that she is can only do, okay? And along the way, she meets up with Michael uh, Perez, uh, Commandant. Yes, he's about as German as not. He's like plucked out of the Midwest said, here, you're in a German role. Man's got no accent whatsoever. At least he didn't try, which I give him props for there. But anyway, the Commandant somehow, uh, for some reason, ends up becoming the va uh, a vampire as well. And Blood Rain is fighting him as well as her own uh, demons and whatnot. I don't know what really what the plot is or the point of this movie. It's, I know what it is. It's bad, okay? Now, Natisa Malfi, you may have recognized, she did play Typhoid in Electra. There's another winner. And, yes, she played the popular Lotus Land Waitress in Peter Jackson and the Olympians. That's about the biggest movie she was in, all right? Along the way, you also see there's Clinton Howard in this film. Poor man just needed some money, I guess. And Uva Bowl just is a horrible director, okay? I mean, here you've got Blood Rain. She's fighting the Third Reich, and she's supposed to be this kick-ass, you know, warrior or whatever. She does, like, this one acrobatic move that lifts her, like, six inches off the ground here. I mean, look, you just... Uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's just horrible. And the guys who die, the action, action scenes, I mean, just because you put an explosion in the background doesn't make it an action scene, okay, Uva? Uh, but he did, and they kind of die like, uh. You know, there's like a delay going, oh, wait, I'm the one that got killed this time. I better fall down now. All right, and what's interesting, even more interesting, she's got like a good chunk of cast from the second one, but they're all in different roles. How about that for some confusion? And Michael Pere, uh, I'm sure I pronounced his name wrong, does a trifecta with the Blood Rain franchise, or crap chise, okay? Uh, he, he was in, in all three movies as a different character in each one, okay? And... This man, Uva Bull, the director-producer of the Blood Rain series, as well as Far Cry and Dungeon Siege in the name of the king, dear God, he ruined a potentially good movie there, and so on and so forth. Just continue this history of bad films. Okay, he's the only director I know that could take a scene, the only redeeming quality of a B-film, which is uh, uh, nudity, okay, and uh, two women together scene with wearing less than, you know, a lot, any clothing, okay, he can take a scene like that that should be at least somewhat attractive and kind of sexy and make it the most boring piece of crap you ever seen in cinema. I mean, seriously. There's no no allure, no attraction whatsoever, no sexiness at all. Both actresses in this scene that he has in this film are bored. I mean, they're just like, uh, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, yeah, that now. Okay, here we go. Uh, I mean, he, he's the only director I know that can do that, so I guess that is one positive in his column of movie directing, is that he can take any scene and make it boring, bland, and 
bad, okay? Blood Raid 3, you could make a drinking game out of for how many non-Germans are playing German soldiers in this film. I mean, he's a German director, for crying out loud. He films in Germany, and he could only find, like, one guy with a halfway decent German accent. The Commandant does not have a German accent. Blood Rain doesn't. None of these, hardly, I, it's just bad. Nothing. I can't even acknowledge a rating, okay? Because that would be giving this too much credit. Uva Bull, please stop. Hopefully, you can just stop trying to make something of these movies that they aren't, okay? Just go work at a fast food restaurant, okay, or something. But get away from the camera now. They should put a restraining order on Uva Bull from any movie equipment whatsoever, okay? Blood Rain 3 is horrible and yes in my, coming for me you know it's got to be bad folks okay avoid this film there should be there should be a restraining order on the film and on the cameras for Uva Bowl never to go near a film equipment again hopefully that doesn't happen for quite a while wait wait he's making a dungeon siege in the name of the king too that'll about do it for us here at the final cut folks till next time keep that ticket stub oh dear god